You're very welcome to another Troy Town webinar. Today I'm going to update you on the recent advances in lameness diagnosis and particularly the imaging of horses lower limbs and uh, the body with regards to uh, lameness problems. The problem the world over for veterinarians is that our patients can't actually speak to us. If they could tell us precisely where they are hurting, where they are lame, then we maybe wouldn't have to go to the lengths we do to be able to diagnose the problems and diagnose precisely where the lameness is. So we have to work it out and the conventional way is to use diagnostic anesthesia. Uh, these are nerve blocks where we anesthetize or numb or freeze an area of the limb and we see then if the lameness has got better and then we know that the area that we have anesthetized is actually the, is actually the, 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 the localized region of the lameness. And then we can take um, x-rays or other imaging um, systems to, to work out exactly what is the problem. The thing is, over the years, we've really come to realize the, the limitations of conventional x-rays in a lot of ways. And even with uh, digital radiography, um, there are problems in, in showing up injuries in bone which are present that new systems can, can help us to identify. So one of the, the new technologies on the block is MRI scanning. It's been around in human medicine for uh, probably 20 or 30 years. And what has come online now is a standing MRI scanner designed by Hallmark in England. And this circumvents the risks of general anesthesia. Um, the, uh, the horse has to stay very still. This is a picture of the MRI scanner at Troytown Equine Hospital. It takes a couple of hours to, to scan each foot and we try and do it as an outpatient basis so it takes four or five hours to do both legs. But we get detailed images of, of bone and soft tissue on the same image, image and that's a fantastic benefit. And MRI is really helping to refine the diagnoses and and aid in the selection of treatment options, particularly with diseases such as navicular disease and any other problems in the horse's lower limb. So uh, this is a horse actually standing in the MRI scanner at Troytown. It's a U-shaped magnet as opposed to sort of like a circular magnet that you'll see in most human hospitals. And um, you know those circular magnets can be used for horses, but then the horse has to be anaesthetized, so that's an extra cost and an extra risk as well because uh, the horse has to wake up from the sleeping position and stand back up again, which is, is risky for a, an adult horse at times. And 